Welcome to The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. (laughs) (laughs) And we're ready. So I just got off of a five-day vacation. That was nice. I went to the city. With my uh, my mom, my aunts, my cousins, my godmother, it was so fun. It was I know so that fun. looked like a lot of fun. So I, I you went to a crappy socks game. I know, I know, I know, I know. It was Cubs tough. fans over here. I took one for the team, quote unquote. <laughs> um, I just ran upstairs because I said, "Oh, I gotta go get the charger for the laptop." <laughs> and I then on the way up, I'm like, "Hey, you want something to drink?" You know. So I go up there, I get you your water. I come back down, I'm like, "Ah, fuck, forgot to <laughs> forgot the charger." I the one thing you and, went up there. For. You know, and it's total karma because. We were at the hotel on Saturday yeah. and we were all getting ready to go out and my mom and my aunt forgot their masks like in the oh, hotel or yeah. like we were in another hotel room right. we were hanging out with my aunt. And so we all walk into the hallway. My mom opens one door. My aunt opens another door like into their rooms and they both give me this like, why did I just come in here? I'm like, go get your mask, go get your mask. It was so funny, but, but that's what I get because I went upstairs and didn't get the charger that I said I was getting. I'm like, Oh, I gotta go get the charger. You guys had cute t-shirts made too for your, my cousin made those. Those were so cute. Yes. Yes. I love it. Mm -hmm. So today I come home from work, you know, before I came over here to do this and Johnny tells me he wants meatloaf for dinner. So I'm like, all right, you know, I can whip together a meatloaf real quick. And he tells me, Cause I'm like, what'd you do today? He's like going through DVDs at home. And I'm like, (laughs) what'd you do today? And he's like, it's too hot. I can't do anything. (laughs) He's like, I tried to work outside. I tried to work, you know, in the garage. He's like, it's awful. I was sweating. I'm like, I don't know. Tell me about it. So he says, yeah, I went through every single one of your cooking magazines and your recipe book <laughs> looking for a meatloaf recipe. <laughs> and I was like, there's no meatloaf no. recipe. <laughs> Who has a meatloaf not recipe? Not me. Not this man. <laughs> you just throw the shit in the bowl with the ground beef. You pat it out and you throw it in the oven. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Who has a meatloaf recipe? What did he say when you asked? He just laughed. Like, so since you're home, can you make me a meatloaf? I know. Loaf? I was like, all right, I'll make you a meatloaf before. I <laughs> hey, Ma, the meatloaf. <laughs> so um, we were talking uh, offline that about salaries. Yes. And because people want to know what everybody because, makes, right? Well, and, and you know, and, and it's not even necessarily that people want to know, but it's like, um, why is it such stigma to to not know what your your equals make? At, at my last job, they told me you cannot discuss salary with anyone. Which is you bullshit. Could, it could be termination. That's such bullshit. <laughs> that is like that is corporate America for you. Like, mm. tell me you're from the United States without telling me you're from the United States. Yeah. I can't talk about my salary with my coworkers. It's your own fucking personal business. First yeah. of all. Mm-hmm. You know, like, so what? They think we're all going to riot and demand more money because this person makes more money? Well, maybe we should. Yeah. I think it, sh- I think it should be completely normal. And if you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to. But why is it, why is it so bad to do? I don't know. This brings up thoughts of when people come in, they all have different backgrounds, right? They all right. have different where they've been, experience. And- So I know that companies will start you with, you have four years of school or you have a master's or you have this experience or whatever. So there's different levels. Yeah. But I think that companies should have like a three tier where, where it's not, you're not getting what we called gaslighting, right? Oh, if you can't talk about it, you know, or else you're going to get fired. Yeah. They could have three tiers where, okay, so if you have a master's and you have seven years experience, you start you're going to get the third tier. You're going to be on the third yeah. tier. Yeah. You have a bachelor's or an associate's right. and maybe a few years experience. And you're, you're on, on the, the second tier. You only have experience because you're still a student or you're right. You're just have experience. Right. You're on the first tier. Right. And it's the same for everyone that comes through. And so it's a 10, 20, 30, $40,000 difference. Yeah. And so then everyone knows so, what they make and you don't even have to worry about talking about it because you know, you know what tier someone's on. I almost disagree with that because okay. Schooling doesn't make you smarter, <laughs> you know, right, I, right. you know, obviously, yeah, maybe there are some jobs, you know, to be the CEO or, or, of a company, many, many jobs, I, <laughs> <laughs> but, 
But, you know, I've heard of people losing their jobs because they they worked these jobs for 20 years. Now, all of a sudden, they require a degree for that job. And you're telling me I don't know how to do the job because I right. didn't go to school right. 20 years ago? That's very true. That's you know? very true. So it's, it's kind of, mm-hmm. you know, and then you come into an issue where somebody has been working there for 20 years. So say they make 50000 and then this person comes in with um, a master's degree, but no experience, right? And they're going to make more than you for a without, job. Yeah. Without knowing what you do and yeah. you're training them to be your boss. You know, sometimes it just takes experience, you know? Yeah, I agree. I agree. So I mean, I I, I've been hired on experience alone. They yeah. didn't want to know anything else. They right. wanted me to bring in right. the experience that I have. They wanted you for yeah. what you know. Now, th- now, I guess my question is they offered me... Uh, you know, a salary yeah. with only ex- coming in with experience. That's yeah. what they wanted. But if I had that master's degree in business and you would have gotten more, what would I have gotten more? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It was never a conversation. Yeah. Because there was no tears. They, yeah. They knew you didn't have it. So yeah. didn't not, not tears meaning crying because I have to work, but <laughs> tears. <yeah. laughs> Levels. Yeah. So I don't know. I just, I don't understand why, why people don't talk more about what they make, mm-hmm. you know? Well, I, and, and, this was brought up because the person that told me is kind of a gaslighter and very negative and, yeah. and that. Yeah. So that wasn't the only thing that they would say. Like, right. you know, you can't talk about, you know, whatever else it was. I can't even think of so it right stupid. now, but yeah, it's just, it's stupid. Yeah. I hate, you know, I, you know, cause I'm the TikTok queen. I'm always on TikTok mm-hmm. and these people get fired at their jobs for making TikToks that expose the companies they work for. <laughs> oh, no kidding. That's why we don't mention anything on this right. podcast. <laughs> So it's it's crazy these companies. So did mm. you know that Chili's and Applebee's their servers have to tip out the kitchen? I did know this. the waste, mm-hmm. the um, bartenders, the bussers, and the food runners. Mm-hmm. Right. Sometimes these waitresses are walking out with a negative balance, wow. a negative balance. If they made a hundred dollars in sales, they automatically have to tip out you know, say 20% to this, 20% to that, 30% to that. Why are these companies getting away with making the waitress pay the staff? Yeah. I was just talking to our one friend over the weekend and someone that she knows works for a company where anything that comes on the credit card, right? they get, they put it all together. Right. And then the owner divvies it amongst right. the what 10, the, the five or that? 10 people. So one server could get a tip for a hundred dollars, right? But she's splitting that among the right. five or ten so people she that ends are working. Up getting twenty bucks, if yeah. that, right? Yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah, I don't that know. I don't know what the, what the thought process is on that either. And then, so everybody's like, you know, like I always try to tip cash. So then, at least I know that goes into their pocket mm-hmm. because it really is. It's it's sales, though, right? You're right. So if you personally bring up say a thousand dollars in sales, that's what they force you to tip out on. Mm. So it doesn't, even if I tip her a hundred dollars cash and my bill was $500 and I gave her a hundred dollars cash, she still has to tip out on that $500. It mm. comes out of all of her credit card tips. Oh, interesting. I that's disgusting. That. I wonder what would rest, what I wonder what restaurants would do if they paid their people a percentage of what they made. So you have someone that's super great at sales, right. gets that extra drink, gets right. those appetizers, right. gets that dessert because she's going to get 25% of her whole night's Yeah. That's sales. actually a really good idea. I'm wondering, you know, what, because what, people say, would the restaurants lose out though? I don't think so. No, because of course not. they don't pay their people anything. Their people yeah. rely on freaking tips. I feel like it would be similar place. to going to a department store and they say, do you want to open up a, a credit card? A credit card? Yeah. Because you get 10% of yeah. whatever that sale was yeah. for the time We used time to have they... credit card competitions. We if did. If you sold credit cards, you could win a gift card or a free coffee or a free soda mm-hmm. or a free lunch, you know? So yeah, why not? Why not do it that way? Yeah. That's actually a great idea mm-hmm. because so right now we're boycotting Applebee's and Chili's. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Although Nobody I really like there. chilies. I do too. I do too. Damn it. They're two for 20. Me and John get big old burgers and an appetizer oh and a dessert. They have the best black God bean burgers. Damn like it. The spice on it's amazing. But we're not going. We're not going. 
order chilies to go. Okay. After this. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's absolutely disgusting. And um, people who say, oh, well, if they raise the the server's pay, the price of the food will go up. Well, if you're not a shitty tipper, you're going to leave that money there anyways. Yeah. So fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't care. I'll pay $14 for a cheeseburger. If I know that the waitress or is getting a certain percentage of that $14 is, or is getting paid, you know, 15, 20 bucks an hour. Yeah. I would gladly pay that. So would they, you think they would ever go to where they pay a salary and then there is no tipping? And there is no tipping. Yeah. Why can't we do it? We're literally the only country in the world that, that, that does, does tip that. Yeah. I thought I read somewhere that in other countries, certain countries, if yeah. you tip, it's actually showing that right. you think they need money. Right. You so look poor yeah. today. I'm yeah. going to give you money and yeah. it's an insult. It's an insult. Mm-hmm. When I was in Costa Rica... Like I was shocked, like because the food there is so cheap. You know, you mm. find these little like huts or whatever, yeah, to yeah. Go to. And we're like talking to our guide, Alan, and we're like, "Hey, are we? You know, do we leave a tip?" And he's like, "Oh, if you want to." He's like, "But that's the bill. That's all you pay. You pay." Yeah, the bill. like it was like I don't, I don't know. What and you we mean, were shocked. But, mm-hmm. You know, like really, you know, yeah. And they're like, "No, they get they get paid to work here. Yeah, you don't have to supplement their pay." Wow, what a fucking. Yeah. Idea. Yeah. <laughs> you know, even when I got a few weeks ago, when I got my stove, yeah, I asked the guys, I'm like, can I throw you some cash? Like, cause I wasn't sure how that worked. Of course they were both like cash. Yeah. yeah. You know, throw them each a 20 or They're whatever. Like, we're not supposed to. But. I, yeah. But I, I asked though, to be polite. Yeah. I mean, they had the option of saying, I no, did it. I went and got my, say no. yeah, I got my headlights changed and I was like, here, here's a couple bucks. Thanks for mm-hmm. taking. And they're like, Oh no, no, we can't take that. You know? And yeah. I'm like, I know some of the pickup and delivery really? people are the same yeah. way. Yeah. Some Freaking companies crazy. say absolutely not. I know when I worked in the bakery, we would make, you know, nice cake. Well, I wouldn't yeah. personally make the cakes, but obviously yeah. I had someone that was amazing right. at it or just getting the order right or just being there for the person. And this woman walked up and she said, well, can I throw you some money for your team? I said, no. I said, we can't accept tips. Do you know I went to go take my apron off and she had thrown a 20 in there? Stop it. So I gave it to the, to, um, what were they called? The, the cash office. The cash office. Yeah. Because a Turned month later, yeah. if no one claimed, claimed it. it, quote unquote, I could yeah. go back. I ended up leaving it there, but I mean, it was only 20 bucks. But, but it's not worth losing your job it's over. Not lo- yeah, Which exactly. Which is ridiculous. Yeah, it's not worth it. I but I, I mean, for my thought, I mean, if this woman wanted to hand me 20 to share with my team and yeah. maybe buy them a couple sandwiches or something. Yeah. I, why? Why not? Why but I, I just never yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. Or the special orders. I had, there was a cleaning company that would order pallets of Windex or pallets. This was years and years ago. Yeah. And so I would order it through the computer and she would come and meet me and she'd have a truck and they'd have to break down the pallet and I would help break down the pallet and she'd put everything in her truck. She always tried to throw me 50 bucks. I said, I can't take it. Yeah. She goes, well, who, the, who am I going to give this to so that they you accept it? I said, I can't do it. Yeah. She's like, you're out here helping me. I said, I, I just can't do it. I yeah. just didn't want it. On yeah. camera. <laughs> yeah. Cause like I said, getting fired over 20 or $50, mm-hmm. not worth it. Yeah. It's so crazy. But once again, though, I had a, I had a salary job right? or, or at the time it was probably hourly. It was probably like a 45 hour a week. Yeah. So yeah. that's different than these servers that are only right. getting two ninety an hour yeah. or whatever if it is lucky. now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I make more than that. Yeah. Tips. Yeah. But they might live in a big city. Mm-hmm. You know, if you come out here in the boondocks where we live, mm-hmm. I mean, there was nights of bartending on a Tuesday night. You were lucky to walk out with 30, between 30 and $50. You know, yeah. you were there for six hours for 50 bucks. Yeah. That's, that's not good. No. Yeah. No. What would be a good night? We're talking hundreds, like 300 yeah. or okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three, 400. I mean, I've, I've never personally seen it, but I can only imagine it. You know, in some of these cities where they work at these big clubs, you know, they're making a thousand dollars. Yeah. Night, yeah. Maybe even more. I don't mm-hmm. know. You guys comment if you're a bartender at a big, big I'm place, sure Sam does. You know? well, well, we'll ask Sam. Oh yeah. We could ask Sam. I'm yeah. sure she makes decent money. Yeah. She works at a really busy place. Yeah. Jay, how much does Sam make? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You don't have to tell us, but yeah, it's, you know, as they're on the beach listening to this, like also, really <laughs> Sam has to split it with two other bartenders that are yeah, behind the bar with right, her. Right, right, right. Plus you got the beer runners, you got the door guys. So they just must have like a pitcher or a bucket yeah. that everything gets thrown in and then right. they split it all and they split amongst it all themselves. Up. Okay. 
So who's to say you're not running your ass off and this guy's standing over here ain't doing shit, mm-hmm. you know, and then you got to split your tips with him. This t- just brought up another thing. Last night we were at a, a, pl- a bar here locally and they were playing volleyball yeah. and they have a system where she would come out and get our drinks. But she said, if you want to order food, you got to go to the window. Oh, so it's, she said it's two separate things. She explained yeah. it to us. You yeah. know, I'll bring your drinks and you pay me, but the food has to get paid over here by okay. this window. Okay. So I walked over to the window I ordered everything, completely forgot one dinner for someone. Oh, no. So I had to go back. (laughs) But the whole point is when I went back, there was a woman in front of me and she said to the person, I am going to order a large pizza. I don't want to pay $2.50 for you to throw half of the onions on half a pizza. Like she was very firm and strong and kind of, you know, beating these people up. (laughs) Okay, and Karen. <laughs> yeah. And, and it was, I've just, I'm listening to this conversation and she kind of explained it three times. I'm not paying $2 and 50 cents for you not to put it all over the pizza. And she's like, Oh no, I think it's a dollar 25 for half. This woman put like eight toppings on her pizza. Oh so it God. wouldn't really yeah. matter anyways. To me, that's, you know, that's eight bucks or I don't yeah. even know. So, or well, whatever. You just turned a $20 bucks. pizza into yeah, thir- a $40 40. pizza. Yeah. Well, I guess it ended up being 25. And the reason why I know it was 25 is because she gave her a 10. Then she gave her a five. Then she's reaching around in her pocket. She gave her five singles or something oh like that. Oh my God. Or yeah. whatever. And then she gave her four quarters Oh four, quarters, four quarters, four quarters. <laughs> oh and then it was God. like a penny, penny, penny. And then the, <laughs> the woman that was behind the window looked at her and she's like, it's 30 cents more. So oh she gave her two God. more quarters and she was like, keep the rest. Oh, oh, <laughs> well, thank you. I'm like, your Jeez. pizza is getting spit on oh tonight. Oh my God. I hope they did <laughs> Parmesan cheese, extra dandruff <laughs> Parmesan cheese on that pizza. <laughs> Double pubes. Yeah. <laughs> Sick, sick. <laughs> but I just, I couldn't believe it. And then it just reminded me of how much these people get beat up. Yeah. So then, of course, I went in to go and you're order like, Here's that an dinner. Extra $5. I absolutely <laughs> did. And I had tipped on the first order. Uh, and I said, I'm not, I said, I'm, I'm actually not going to tip on this one. I said, I was just here before that lady. <laughs> and she goes, Yeah, you gave us a really good tip. Thanks for that. That never happens here. I'm like, oh Okay. My God. You know, and it, I mean, it was just, it was 20%, yeah. which she, she was, she actually, felt like she needed to thank me for it. So, I mean, that's just normal to me, but that's terrible. Yeah. But the woman that was in front of me gave them, you know, 13 cents or something. Jesus Christ. (laughs) (laughs) After complaining, she wasn't good, but you know, then, okay. So, you know, we'll go on the other side. Maybe that's all she had for the week, but then you shouldn't be out ordering a pizza, right? You shouldn't be. That lady has millions. (laughs) That lady has millions in the bank. That's and it's that's why I don't have millions because I'm very generous. <laughs> Me too, right? Me too. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Steve and I always talk about that. Um, so I wanted to talk about another prank that we used to do that I just remembered oh, the other day. Excellent. <laughs> You're giving everyone so many great ideas. So actually Drew helped me remember this and I was like, I have to put it in my notes right now, I'll forget. <laughs> so because um Drew was a, a utility worker. He used to push carts and stuff, oh, right? Oh, yeah, a long, long time ago. So back in the day, we had the utility guys would wear pagers, right? And if you needed, like, a carryout oh, I or about something, that. right? <laughs> Excellent memory. I forgot that they had pagers. <laughs> that had been, like, 10 years ago. I know. So at each register, you would have like a one, two, three, four. And if you needed one of the utility workers, you would just hit the one, two, three, or four. Like I would generally hit all four because I would never know like who whoever can show up fast you know? enough. Yeah. Or, and then you'd always have all four show yeah. up. And so they, it would beep, it would beep, 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 beep. And they would look at it and it would say like lane 16, you know? So then they'd be like, oh, you page me, you know, and like clean up, carry out, whatever. Mm. So we, <laughs> this is so evil. <laughs> <laughs> We had this older lady cashier. <laughs> I think actually got, she got fired for stealing. <laughs> but me and this one coworker who I miss working with so much because she would crack me up. Yeah. We had so much fun. She took the pager <laughs> and she like hit it behind her register and she just kept pushing the button, pushing the button. <laughs> so it's like beep, 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 beep. You know, and the lady like look around like, what the hell is that beeping noise? You know, and she'd be like taking care of customers <laughs> and the customers would be like, what is that? And she's like, I don't know. You know, 
because we never knew what the pager sounded like yeah. because they heard it outside or yeah. whatever. You know, we didn't know what it sounded like. This lady was going fucking nuts. <laughs> Ah, she couldn't right for find it. She's like looking at us, like, "What the hell is it?" And we're like, "I don't know," you know. But then we're back there laughing. Oh. <laughs> we are awesome. so evil, <laughs> so awesome. The good old days. I miss those days. God, we got away with so much oh, shit. Man. So much shit. I worked at the service desk with one of our friends and he just was always funny. He would disappear <laughs> for like a few minutes, come back, just die and laughing because he did something to somebody. <laughs> yes. And he could, you know what I mean? And he couldn't even like tell me because he was I laughing I know who so you're hard. talking about. Yeah. And you don't even have to say his name. <laughs> I am going to tell a story though. I think he listens. I'm not sure if he does know. or not. Yeah, I don't know. But um, I remember when he... So he was kind of a player. Yeah. And so I actually had to drop him off sometimes at like right. where he was meeting people. Cause I don't know why he didn't have a car. I can't remember, yeah. but he's great now. He's doing very, he's very successful now, I believe. Yeah. And he married up. Yeah. He got booed up. <laughs> he got booed up. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember that I drove him somewhere to meet someone and the like a week or two went by and he was kind of laughing about something. I'm like, what? And he was like, well, I started dating this girl. I'm in love. I'm like, I'm like, okay, I've heard this before, <laughs> but he's like, no, this girl cooks, cleans, nice body, real pretty, all this kind of stuff. I'm like, really? And he was like, yeah. And it's the store director's sister. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, you're dead. You are you're so dead. dead. <laughs> And then he got transferred. And then he got transferred. <laughs> he absolutely And then got... that store director left anyways. He did. I know. Bastard. I know. He was so good. <laughs> he was so good at transferring. I'll never forget that. I'm like, dude, you're gone. You're oh, gone in, in less so than two funny. weeks. And he was. He was he transferred. Was. Yep. Didn't they go to high school together? I, I don't know the backstory. And I should absolutely know the backstory. But I don't. I think they went to high school together. Yeah, I Somehow don't know. they rekindled. You know, he was the kind of person that I would be on one register and he'd be on the other at the service desk. And I would hear him say these really funny lines <laughs> that customers wouldn't get because he was real witty like that. And I'm not and witty. And, but I'm I, later on, I would just be laughing about it on the way home. I'm like, did he really just tell that customer that? And it was like so fast that they would just be like, yeah, uh, okay, have a good night. But then I think about it later. I'm like, you really said that? You know? So I remember one time with that same person. I was like, he was on lane and I was behind the service desk and I just started wearing glasses. Oh, if you notice, I don't wear glasses. No, you don't wear glasses. <laughs> Cause I hated them. Yeah. And this is one reason why I hated them. So, you know, the service desk had an entry point and there was countertop on each side. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm like walking behind the service desk and he's on lane checking somebody out and I'm like talking shit like this kind of kind of ugly chick came through his lane. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at him and I'm not watching where I'm oh, walking. No. And, you know, the side of your glasses, yeah. I had real thick like bands. Yeah. And I freaking fell right over a cart. <laughs> <laughs> I knocked the cart over. I went down. Like, oh, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, that's what I get for talking shit. <laughs> Now, could you compare the sides of your glasses where you couldn't see with how you can't see in your car? In my blind spots. <laughs> so There's you can't spot drive cars and you can't wear glasses. So you got to start working from home. <laughs> I'm proud to say I went over three speed bumps today and I saw them all. So those the sides of the glasses, I don't know if people will agree with me, but when I was stocking sometimes, and I had to wear them for a while too yes. when I had my issues, and I don't wear them anymore. And so if a customer walked up to me and didn't acknowledge me right. and say hello but stood there yes. like for me to acknowledge them, I would pretend I didn't see them yes. in my glasses on the sides because yes. I had the thick arms. <laughs> it's perfect excuse. Like, it's oh, perfect. I'm so sorry I didn't see you there. Mm -hmm. Clearly, I have glasses. I can't see anything. You know, let's talk about that. I know we touched on it a couple um, episodes before, but- I think that might be another one of my big pet peeves is that people just walk up and start talking to you. Yeah. And I notice that I do it too. So yeah. I catch myself, yeah. you know, instead of saying, instead of acknowledging, you know, oh, or hi, greeting, you greeting today? first. Yeah. Yes. And acknowledging your existence. Right. They just immediately. Where's so, the paper towels? <clears throat> yes. I'm going to talk about <laughs> deli again or the meat department, but yeah. behind the glass, you know, you walk up and they say, you know, number four, you know, and they always say, Hey, how are you yeah, today? And yeah. right away you're like pound pot of salami. Roast. Yeah. Pot <laughs> roast, you know, or I want brats. is that shrimp on sale? <laughs> yeah. You know? So I, I've caught myself yeah. like, I'll take a half a pound of whatever. And yeah. I'm like, 
I'm sorry. Hello. Yeah. Can I please have a half a pound of, yeah. yeah. Or can I please have that lobster that, you know, right. so I can set it free. <laughs> <laughs> You're out here. Putting I'm heading lobster. out to Lake Michigan. Can I put lobsters in the river? <laughs> Wouldn't work. <laughs> Slow death. So but, this just happened to me the other day. So, you know, I work in a store, but I don't work for the store. Right. And people all the time are like, Oh, do you know? And then I turn around and they're like, Oh, do you work here? And I'm like, not really. What can I help you with? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say all the time. So I'm like, I'm walking, I'm cruising with a cart, right? Cause we've been pretty busy at work mm-hmm. and I'm like, duh, 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 power walking. And I hear this, excuse me, excuse, excuse me. And I'm like, Oh fuck, are they talking to me? And I turn around and she's like, uh, yeah, excuse me. And I go, Oh yes. And she's like, Oh, do you work here? I go, no. And she's like, Oh, oh, now your attitude changes. Oh my bitch. gosh. I go, no, I don't work here, but what can I help you with? Yes, that's what I always say. <laughs> Let me get someone for you. Yeah, no, I usually just help them just that's, to, if it's close, right? You know, well, well, I have a coupon for mm. 37 ounces of Tide, and you seem to only have 48 or 60. 48 or. <laughs> So I go, okay, well, let's take a look at the shelf here. Oh, it's empty. Sorry. Right next to it is a sticker that says, sorry, we're out of stock. We will restock as soon as we get more. Oh they don't have any. <laughs> they got one kind and it's gone because there's a fucking coupon, coupon for, for it. it. Yeah. And everybody's buying it. <laughs> You're late to the game. <laughs> <laughs> Step at, away from the bed. Look at box. the fucking shelf tags. Okay. I know. Some stores even have pictures of the product. I don't even think there. customers try. No, they don't. Especially if they think someone is walking past them that works for right. the store. Right. You know, I don't even try at all. No, they're just. I mean, be I'm like, pretty sure this? I've been that customer too. Oh, do you know what I did? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? What'd we you were, do? We were at a store on <laughs> Sunday morning, and we were shopping, and I could not find something. I can't remember what it was, so I must have found it. Yeah. I could not find it. So I'm watching this gentleman who I swear works for the store. But he has hands behind his back and he was just kind of like looking at the end caps. Yeah. And I was like, uh, dude, uh, like, I, <laughs> I like kind of was didn't like, be I didn't person. want to be And I know I like, and then I think Steve was with me. He looked back at me like, will you get it out already? <laughs> he doesn't work here. You know, like stop. <laughs> but the way he was like kind of moving stuff, I think he was waiting for his family to shop. So he was just being polite. He's, he's like, like he's, straightening out the he's end He's facing cap. the shelves. <laughs> he was totally facing the shelves. He must have worked retail at some yeah. point in his life. I did end up asking him though. And he was like, no. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I said, I thought you were facing the shelf or, you know, stocking the shelf. He, he just kind of like smiled at me like you're no oh my you're god good. that's so funny you're like then don't touch shit that you ain't gonna buy <laughs> <laughs> i find myself doing that i'll shop for cans of beans Stop or whatever it. and i move the stuff forward not me. especially at the place i go to i go early in the morning they just got done facing all the aisles so it you looks take beautiful, one and then put one and i put one place. back in its oh place my god yeah so not no me. wonder i'm there and people are like do you work here i'm like yeah. no and they're like why are you facing then it then why are you making yeah. it look pretty you weirdo oh man yeah i I may Not have me. mentioned this I before. I go buy and knock shit over. Oh my God. <laughs> no, you don't. don't. <laughs> you just fall over cards. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> I think I might have mentioned this before too uh, in earlier episodes, but like it all is in the approach and in the greeting when I worked with you. Right. If a customer walked up and was really rude, shoved their phone in my face and said, can you help me find this? I'm yeah. like, I don't work here. Yeah. You know, I kind of like would hide my badge. Like you yeah. ain't going to get my time yeah. talking like that. Or if they were really nice and say, I'm so sorry to bother you. Do you work here? Can you help me with this? Yeah. And even if I'm at a store and I'm not working and someone's very nice and we're just like standing right. in the cereal aisle yeah. and they're looking for checks or something yes, I and they look over and say can you please help me find the blue b-? yes i can help you yeah. find it yeah but if you walk up to me and say where is this i'm not gonna help you i'm sorry i, know. I, I just know. you know i always i don't know why i feel like i need people. to teach them a yeah. lesson but it I, just makes because, me feel better you know and sometimes i want to be like not with that attitude you know yeah. like that's what you want to say to them yeah i'm not gonna help you with that attitude i know and of it course we don't because we're nice zero dollars to be kind just you be know? not yeah just be kind that's all that's all i ask we have talked about we never know what people are going through but yes we have at some points i don't give a shit maybe i'm going through something too <laughs> yeah you're still not gonna walk up to someone and say something rude yeah, you know yeah I don't know. I don't know either. So you know what I did? What'd you do? To make my time go fast in retail. <laughs> I'm going to tell everybody my secret. <laughs> so 
when I compliment someone as a friend, family member, I truly mean it. Yeah. But what I would do <laughs> oh, if a customer, cause you know, when we used to wear like the bright shirts that yes. said we were leaders, yes. you, you know, there's other stores that like they had to wear suit and ties. Like right. everyone looked the same. Um, you know, that it, it just, you just never knew who was a leader or not. So if someone would walk up to me, I had this game I played for probably seven years. If they walked up to me and they were really rude, I would still help them. And then I would compliment them on the ugliest thing they were oh, wearing. Oh my God. Yep. And for me, I would say You're like, I love that bracelet. Oh my God. God I love awful. those shoes. And they would be like gross plaid, like walked through the mud and they'd be like, Oh, <laughs> and they would like totally tell me where they bought them from. And I'm like, I'm never shopping I'll there. Never. Now I'm boycotting that place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they only serve Karen's apparently. So if you want to entertain yourself, <laughs> I totally would do that. Oh, I, I love wait. that haircut. Karen haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they shave the back, but kept the front long. <laughs> How do you spike the back up like that? It's oh my a, God. What product do you use? It's a reverse mullet. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> How do you get it to stick straight up? What oh kind of moves? God. Show me. Show me. <laughs> take me to it. Like you made me take you to this bread. <laughs> In the bread aisle. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's how I entertain myself. That is so funny. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the customer that would come in and he was a numerologist guy? A numerologist. Oh, my, or I don't know how you would say it. He would walk up to you and he would say, when's your birthday? Oh, I, and I would know say, if I know that guy. And I was warned about him, so I gave him a fake like. Really? You know, I said, you know, 10, 1, you know, yeah. 86. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's that's like, not, wow. That's my, wow. That's my year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And he would add all the numbers up like within a second. And he would say, Okay, so you're a Libra. This is what's going to happen in the next three days. And here's your numerology and here's your numbers and all this kind of stuff. And he really? then, if you gave him any sort of attention, he would talk oh, to you no. forever. I got suckered into it once. Someone warned me about him. And and so I knew not to give Mike my true. Yeah. But then I thought, actually, he's really good at it. Maybe yeah. I should have given yeah. him. But then I would see him later on, like, and, and he would come around and I would just kind of go around the corner and yeah. go stock something else or face something else Dude, or go in the back room. I avoid people I, I, Yeah, because I, I got stuck often talking to people a lot yeah. because they would catch me and I just love talking. Obviously, that's why we have this I podcast. <laughs> I love talking. And so I would get stuck talking to people yeah. and he was one of them. And I, uh, it would just... I would always feel bad, like... People would come up to the service desk to like pay their bill or whatever. Yeah. And then they would be like, yeah, my dog died. And I'd be like, oh no. And then they got to tell me the whole life story of the dog. And I'm just like looking at the people behind them. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't yes. know how to get this person. To move oh my on. gosh. <laughs> I was terrible about that. Sometimes yes. I would just be like still talking to him and like, oh yeah, I can help you. And I'd help this person. Yes. Like not even really acknowledge a poor person, but I knew they didn't care. They just wanted to do their shit and get the fuck out. Yes. And just still talk to this person about their dead dog. Yes. <laughs> I've been on both sides of that. Yeah. I've been on where I've had to do that as well, where yeah. it was like, you're kind of walking along the, you know, the service yeah. desk is real long right. and the person won't stop talking. You're the only one up there and everyone yeah. behind is rolling yeah. their eyes. Yeah. So you're kind of walking that person to the yeah. uh, the end of the counter. Right. Okay. I gotta go. There's more people. Yeah. You know, I'm going to go help this person now. And then I've been the customer yeah. behind where, you know, and you can see the cashier or the person at the service desk is looking it's at like, you. Like, I'm sorry. They're like, I'm sorry. A freaking deer uh, yeah. in headlights. Like, I don't know what to oh, do. Yeah. That just happened. So, so if, would, if you if you witness that, just walk up and intervene and be like, "Oh my God, your dog!" and just slide your credit card bill payment to the yes. cashier. Yes, <laughs> yes, while using that person's yeah. checkbook yeah. for making you wait. <laughs> really make their day. It's blank. Just go ahead and fill it out <laughs> on the register. <laughs> I was just at the register. I have my favorite place that I shop in the morning. Yes. And this woman had all the time in the world. You could tell she was on vacation. She had the Hawaiian shirt on. Oh my God. And she went to the cashier that asks about oh everything. No. That one. You know, oh, do you have like people that don't eat meat? And oh, um, yes. oh, soy milk. Do you like soy milk what or is, almond milk? What's and, in this and soy she milk? She does not, you know, okay, so we're going to talk about she wears glasses. So maybe yeah. she doesn't see me on the sides, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she doesn't see me approach with just my four things oh, for the God. day. But this woman was like, oh, ha, 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 it's the wrong credit card. And, you know, I have it. And she's it's the whole her whole oh, life story. God. So for me, I'm thinking I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe she just lost somebody. Maybe she, you know, yeah. I mean, she wasn't. 
I don't, I would say she's only like 10 years older than me. Yeah. Maybe she's lonely. Maybe she's a happy yeah. cat woman. Maybe she just lost her husband and she just, this is her time out to talk to people. Right. But you have to have some kind of conscience that you're standing there for five, six, seven minutes. Yeah. When you really need to stop that conversation. Cause when you should have only been there me. for two minutes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But the lady wasn't paying attention. The cashier were normally, they're very, cashiers are right. amazing at looking around and, and I don't know what it is. It's that hand-eye coordination and then you can look around and still type in yeah. avocados and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. This woman is not like that. So she was like zoomed in to the, cu- oh my to the customer and they were just having this conversation. I'm looking around and there's a woman that, here's another thing. I'm just going to keep going today. Yeah. The leader of the front end was pretending to fill candy. She could see what was happening and didn't want to open her lane because what happens when she opens her little express lane, she gets stuck there for right. probably a good 30 minutes. So I'm sure she's got something she's like where she's got to finish. Dates. Oh, yeah, she was not. <laughs> she would walk all the way to the express lane. There's only, and I shouldn't say all the way, but there's maybe 12 yeah. lanes. She would walk all the way to her express lane, pick out like um, a couple Snickers bars, walk to lane four, see if they needed it. Walk all the way back to the express lane. Oh my! Grab God. some more bars. Walk back over to lane nine. Walk o- and I'm 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 like, come on. She's trying to get her steps. Come on. For the she's day. trying to get her steps in. She's ignoring. She's got a really bad haircut. Oh it's like my from God. the eighties. Stop it. So I-, <laughs> I love people who still have haircuts from the eighties because you know what? They it can proves- rock it. If you hold on to something long enough, it will come back into style. I don't know if her style is going to come back, <laughs> but. <laughs> Mark my word, it might, right? We'll just uh, talk about it now. We'll add it to the calendar. Some of the songs. I'm like, yeah. Is this an old song or a new song? I know. It's crazy. But I couldn't believe it. And I I think that if I was anyone else, I probably would have stopped her and said, hey, can you get this going hey, excuse here? Excuse me. I mean, it was truly yeah. longer than my patience could handle. Yeah. And I have a lot of patience. Yeah. And I, and I didn't. The guy behind me was like, what the fuck? Yeah. You, know, you could hear him swearing. He's looking at me like, say something. I'm like, you right. say something. You say something. Yeah. And then I finally got there. I'm bagging my like own groceries. I was in the line I'm at like, the let's hotel. go, bitch. Yeah. When I was <clears> in the line at the hotel and I was like, I've been trying to call for weeks. And everyone's like, yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm starting to ride in this place. <laughs> That's exactly what was happening. I forgot about that. You just said, oh, that's good. <laughs> that guy danced. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> this morning was so long so, ago. I know. So today I'm doing my work, whatever, you know, <laughs> and I'm looking for a specific product. We got sent a message. We want pictures of a specific product in the freezer section. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so I go wandering over there. Stop what I'm doing. I go wandering <laughs> over there. So I find the product. I'm making it look nice. Go to take a picture. And I see something out of the corner of my eye. (laughs) And the store that I'm at is in the city and it has a gym connected to it. So you always see people like, you know, they're in their workout gear. They're like, they got their yoga mats and their shopping bags and stuff like that, you know? So I turn around and this guy is just bopping. He is bopping hard. He's got his hips going. (laughs) He's standing there. He's got his AirPods in, you know? And I'm like, I start laughing because clearly he is homosexual. Oh, okay. Which I love gay guys, right? Yeah. <laughs> They're so funny. <laughs> so He was dancing like nobody was watching, oh but somebody God. was. Oh my God, it was so funny. So I start laughing and he like whips around and he like takes out his ear pod. He's like, oh, sorry, I'm just super jamming out right now. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And I was like, bro, keep jamming. You rock it. You know? And he was so cute, of course. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then he's like, do you know where this, and I don't even remember what he said. You know? <laughs> I showed him where it was. Yeah, that's right over here. Whatever. Oh, that's oh he so was fun. looking for the the meatless brats. <laughs> oh yes. I was like, it just worked out. You can't you can't have what you. It's no carb. Meat is no carb. Why can't you have meat? I cannot <laughs> shop after working out. I mean, was he freezing? That's I don't know how you do that. I I, he they, was, I just sweat like he an was animal. Full of energy. So, and I'm not good looking like he was. So stop. <laughs> It was funny. Though. I just wouldn't do it. I just turned around. And I was just like watching him. He's just boop, 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 boop. gay guys are so much fun. <laughs> I love having gay guy friends. 
I have a it's couple. like chicks, but like without, well, I can't even say without the drama because some of them are super drama. Yeah. But you know, generally they're just like cool chicks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be friends with them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, there is someone that works at the store downtown and every single time I see him, I say, Oh my God, I love your eyebrows. And he goes, thanks. <laughs> like, you know, he works on those things for a very long time. Okay. So. Unless he gets them like waxed or threaded. Yeah. I mean, they are perfect. perfect. And they, you know, they say that your eyebrows don't have to be twins. They have to be sisters or no, whatever. No, they're cousins. Cousins. His <laughs> are twins. Really? They are perfect. They don't have perfect. to be twins. They just and gotta his be skin cousins. skin is perfect. I think he... He works like a an animal all day, but then I think he just goes home and puts like cucumbers on <laughs> puts and like goes a to the spa. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> He's walking around with some kind of mask oh, and so lotion funny. everywhere. I'm like, oh. So one of my best friends has a gay brother, right? Okay. And um, I went to like three different stores in a day, and I was like. Oh my God, is that him? And I was like, no, his eyebrows would never look like that. No. <laughs> exactly. Because it's like when we still had masks on, yes. so I couldn't really see. Then I go to the next store and I was like, oh my God, is that him? Like, this is so weird. And then I was like, he would never let his hair grow like that. I know. I have some <laughs> friends that I feel so ugly next to because they are Stop. on point. It doesn't matter what their you hairstyle have the perfect is. perfect eyebrows. No, I mean, no, no. I'm talking like gay eyebrows are so <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Like, like my friend in the city, like every single time I see him, I'm like, just when I think you can't get any more perfect, and here you are with your suit on and your awesome oh shirt God. and where do you shop? And I just want to be him for a day because it, the That's hair is so perfect. Funny. Yeah. It's like these super perfect linglets. And, yeah. you know, and I think I met his boyfriend once the same, really perfect teeth. They sit there and whiten them with their masks on <laughs> and their cucumbers and they probably do each other's eyebrows. They do each other's eyebrows. That's or they got a is. friend that owns a salon. Yeah. I'm like, really? Uh, Why you gotta be so perfect? Can you do my eyebrows? That's, I know. I'll ask I him. I don't ever do my eyebrows. Who do you? Yeah. I should ask them, you know, who yeah. does your skin? Yeah. Cause I need it. Yeah. <laughs> And they're going to be and like, they make me look 20 years younger. Like Stridex pads. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. They ain't going to tell their secrets. <laughs> they are absolutely not going to tell their secrets because they know they look good. They don't want anybody else looking better than them. So I said, I was like, you know, generally gay guys look pretty good. Is it because they're gay? And oh, like they I don't care know. more about looks. I will ask some of my friends, you know, because yeah. like my husband is clearly not homosexual. And, you know, he grows, his beard gets all rugged and, yeah. you know, he goes out in the nerdiest clothes. I make fun of him all the time. Like mm -hmm. I bought him, they're sleeping shorts, right? So they're like essentially boxers and they mm -hmm. have pockets in them. He tries to wear that shit to the store. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you, I like, babe, if you want to go in your pajamas, like, you know, you're like, Sleeping pants. Yeah, in the middle at of winter, six a.m. Like, when no one's gonna see yeah. you. But those, you are not allowed to leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> They're like super short. Oh my god! When I, you know, because my husband's a little older than me. Everybody yeah. who listens, well, maybe not everybody, but most people that listen that know us know my husband's much older than me. So he was, you know, super into the bulls when they won like the six world champions or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if that's what it was, but anyways. He had these shorts, these bull shorts when I met him. <laughs> and I saw a picture of him when he was probably 22 wearing these shorts. <laughs> and I met him and he was like 37 and he still had these shorts. And I was like, does he still have them today? Absolutely not. <laughs> Let's just say I cleaned out the closet and the drawers. Of bull shorts. Yeah. <laughs> he had, <laughs> he has like every year he has a picture with his daughter, right? They went and got their pictures. Oh taken. yeah. And she was born in like 89 or something mm -hmm. like that, you know? So like, I think she even had a mullet then, you know, oh. <laughs> and he would wear these like sweaters, right? Like the, like the Christmas sweaters or well, the, like the Bill Cosby. Sweaters, yes. Yes, right? yes. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I was like, you still have these sweaters. Like it's 2012 and you still have these sweaters. Hey, you just like said about the eighties haircut that it I all comes back. He has a reason I for this. Kept the damn you should have kept the sweaters. Cause guess what? They're wearing they're the sweaters again. Now. 
would have made some big bucks off yeah, of those sweaters. Absolutely. See, you can't say one thing about the haircut and then say something about your husband's sweaters because he was doing the same thing as 80s chick. Yeah, you know, I just didn't think that those were going to come back. Yeah. <laughs> But back to my gay friends, yeah. if they wore a sweater like that, they would make it look so cool. Good. Like you yeah. wouldn't look at it and be like, that's a vintage sweater. No, you would say, oh, that's the styles now. Yeah. That's what I'm going to be looking yeah. at in a window yeah. <laughs> at the department store. <laughs> at oh. the Calvin Klein store. Yes. Oh, yes. God. I forget the name of those sweaters that Bill Cosby always wore. Mm. Coogie. Coogie. <laughs> I don't Coogie sweaters. Is it Coogie? I don't it's know. It's not Coogie. I don't, let's ask her again. Coogie. <laughs> it's Coogie. <laughs> C-O-O-G-I. And I'm looking now and it's $500 a sweater. Yeah. You could have just stopped. You wouldn't even have been working right now. He didn't now. have those ones. I mean, they were like you never look know. alikes. <laughs> you never know. Look alikes. <laughs> he doesn't have any more sweaters, huh? <laughs> no sweaters to sell. <laughs> Why do I think that's so funny? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, let's bring them back. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. The Coogee? Yeah. Coogee? Yeah. Coogee. 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 <laughs> like Roast your shark coochie board. <laughs> My shark coochie board yeah. that I'm going to bring over here. <laughs> your coochie board. Bring that. <laughs> My sister made me join a charcuterie board page on Facebook. Oh my gosh. I bet they're amazing. I see the people are making the roses now with oh. like the champagne and wine glasses. I'm oh, gonna tr- I'm gonna try it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try it. I'll post pictures. Oh my gosh. I'll post pictures on the share. Instagram. I was going to say share it with yeah. us. Yeah. So we can um, yeah. show everyone else. Yeah. I see that. That is probably one of the reasons why I never add myself to those kind of pages because there's always someone better. And I just look no, and stop admire. It. Well, I just look and admire and I'm like, I would never do that. Why am I even on this page? I know you mine's know? not going to be the best. But I I'm roll make up, up for- a, a, well, I, when I used to, when I used to eat meat, I would roll up a piece of like salami and cheese yeah. and be like, yeah, looks like a flower. <laughs> That's my shark cooch board or whatever you're saying. <laughs> now people are like making like animals and you know, it's stop. like. Mufasa or the Lion King, or I'm sure we're going to, you're going to go on that page and someone's going to do Cruella. <laughs> oh God. Right. I you're going to see it. That. So someone's going to do it. It's going to be her face with meat and cheese. I can't wait for that. Yep. That's why I can't even be on those pages. Cause I'm like, man, these people are amazing. Who has got the time? Not so, me. Speaking of Cruella, another mm. movie. I saw that it twice, by the way. You did? I did. My sister was like, I'm going to watch Cruella. She's like, it's on Disney Plus. And she's like, fuck that. It's twenty nine ninety. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a solid like, two I, hours. I thought so because it's in the theaters. <laughs> theaters are opening back up now. They're going to make you pay for that yep. shit. Yep. All this free Netflix and shit. Yeah. Uh, that's going to end real quick. <laughs> Everything's opening back up. Um. So speaking of movies, though, because I just posted my memory the other day of Anthony Bourdain passing yes, away. Yes, yes. And it's so sad. And I still, I've never met the guy. I don't know the guy, but I loved him so much. And they're making a movie about his life and I can't wait for oh, it wow. to come out. Yeah, you even have a t- couple t-shirts, right? I just have one. Just the one? Wow. Of him flipping them off and say, drink lo- with yes. locals whenever possible. Drink heavily with locals whenever so possible. So you used to watch all his shows? Oh my and God. Tell me a little bit more about what he did. I, I don't watch so TV too often. He so he was like, started out washing dishes when he was a kid in a mm. kitchen, you know, and worked his way up to a chef. Um, the first big thing that I think he did was he wrote a book. Oh, wow. And it was about his struggles, like in the chef world. It wasn't like a cookbook or anything like oh, that. Oh, okay. You know, he's the one who always says, like, if you work in the industry, you have to have an addiction, whether it's to drugs, alcohol, sex, something. Like, you have to be fucked up in the Mm -hmm. head in order to work in that industry, right? In the food industry, like being a chef or just in that industry itself. Okay. Yeah. Serving, bartending. Okay. Cooking, cleaning, anything, you Mm. know? Um, And then he started, um, I think it was CNN actually picked him up and he started doing you know, a show where he traveled the world. Wow. Did and he used to have like a YouTube or something? That's how they found him or how you can't just, you just don't go and find someone that's not I, on social, right? Well, I, social media wasn't big back then. So I wonder you how they found I mean? him. Maybe he applied or his book. 
Oh, sorry. Think, yes. No, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. I think that's how they found him was his book. Mm. And, um, you know, because he wrote so well, I think he was also like secretly a journalist or something. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, um, so, but he would go to like the most random places. He did not go to Paris to look at the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. You know, you drive by, you look at it. That's not what you're there for. He would go find the locals. He would go to local places and eat and drink because, you know, if you say you go to Mexico, you don't want to go to Chili's in Mexico. You want to go find where all the locals eat, you know, and where they have drinks and relax and where they go after work and real life, you know? So he like super inspired me to like travel. Oh, know? okay. Okay. Yeah. So, and I miss him so much. Wow. And how many years has it been? Three years. Three years. Wow. Three years and you, sh- oh, you shared it. Yeah. Yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. They say it was suicide. People are convinced that like he knew stuff. I really do believe that he took his own life. Everybody's like, but he was happy. He was making money. He was making shows. That doesn't mean he was happy. What you do you know mean what he I mean? knew stuff? Like, I don't, you know, there's, like, a bunch of drama going on with, like, supposedly the, you know, like, Ellen and Oprah and mm. Lady Gaga and all those people and the and- Andra Chrome and okay. drinking baby's blood and molesting kids. Which is too much for and, him. You know, stuff like that. Not that that stuff, you know, I believe that shit happens in Hollywood that should not happen, especially mm-hmm. with children who grow up in Hollywood, yeah. which is really scary. But anyways, you know, like people are saying like he knew stuff and he was going to like write a book about it or something and they offed him. I don't believe it. You know, Mm. like I think he he was an addict. He overcame his addiction and wrote his book and had his show. And I think he still did not feel fulfilled. And that's what we're going to learn about in this movie. Okay. Yeah. So was he ever a chef or he would just go visit and be the recipient of the food? Oh, he was a chef. chef So he, would he be able to like taste food and then like, guess what they've put in it and talk about it? You know, you have to remember, I've never seen it. Yeah. I know who he is. Like he would go to like Africa and eat some weird shit, you know? Like maybe I did see it once where, I mean, it was some kind of, yeah, it was bug or animal that was out there that yeah, you would never even gross. think of trying. But then he went to go try it, and you could see his face. Like, yeah. I, I may have watched. There one was or a two couple now, times I where I mean, he would never say no to anything because but, he would want to try it, and right. it was for the the show, right? Right, and you know. Yeah, you don't want to say no, but he would. You could just tell he would be like, "Oh, that was fucking." Disgusting. Oh my gosh! You know, like I think in um, Alaska they do. Like they take fish and they ferment it in like seal fat, and it's really you got to think that is not good what? at all. <laughs> yeah, but he'd try it. You know, yeah. he'd try everything. So, um, no reservations is the name of the show. Okay, that he was on. Um, I see, what was the name of his book? I mean, so, what an interesting life kitchen, to be around food. Yeah, Kitchen Confidential. That's the book okay. that he wrote before he started traveling. Yeah, and it looks like what is this one called? The Nasty Bits. Oh yes. Okay, so collected variety cuts, usable trim scraps and bones. I, would he go into dangerous places? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. That's, that's what I loved about him is he would, you know, he showed the world, this is what I put in my post. He showed the world that even in like the ugliest and most dangerous countries, there are good, hopeful, nice people, Yeah, you know, like that are welcoming to you. Mm -hmm. You know, he would go into the Middle East. You know, a lot of people are scared to go to the Middle East because we're always at conflict with the Middle East Mm -hmm, and stuff. mm -hmm. But there are some very nice people over there, you know, that would welcome you in. And you find most places around the world, besides the United States, you go anywhere else and people would be like, oh, you're traveling and you're hungry and you don't have any money. Come to my house. I'll feed you. I'll give you a place to stay. You can wash up, you know, like. Yeah. That's how people should be. And that's, know? you know, I've, I've heard of a lot of people that go backpacking and yeah. that's what they do. They right. just stay in different right. areas. And like find... when we took in the Canadians. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So, you know, it's just like I said, like that's, that's like the greatest thing about him. Mm-hmm. And I wonder if that's why he didn't kill himself is because he saw so much nasty of the world, mm-hmm. you know, being in the TV business you know, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, he you never probably know. really struggled with that 
that he had to like do this media thing. Yeah. When really he just wanted to go live his life and travel and mm-hmm. eat food and drink and have fun. You yeah. Know? So, yeah. And meet nice people and not commercialize it. Yeah. So, yeah. That's now what I'm I wondering if he ever found like his most favorite dish, but wasn't able to have it here in the States because it was something so rare in a yeah. country. Well, I'll have to look them up. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. Very, very yeah. interesting. Yeah. So yeah, no, that was a very nice post yesterday. I know they still I need to look play. Into him, yeah, into I know him they more. still play um, replays. Um, you know, they they do repeat okay. shows. Okay, yeah, I CNN. hardly ever watch TV. I know, but have you watched Waiting yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is the third time I'm asking her. <laughs> That's probably more than that. <laughs> Best. The best pretzels. You know, can we shout out to yeah. that? that? Those owners are so sweet. It's the so, Richmond Brat House, yep. but it's spelled B R A T H A U S. It's yep. in Richmond, Illinois. Yeah. They are the nicest people. Yes. Gina and Jerry. Yes. yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. No, it, you you would not it would not be a mistake to stop there. I know. For, I know. Uh, Julia's favorite drink now is the blue Hawaiian or yeah, something. That thing looks She had two delicious. of them. <laughs> yeah. Plus whatever shots anybody bought her. And they but, have pretzels the size of pizza boxes. It's, yeah, it's a pretzel that comes with three different sauces, yeah. right? And yeah. it's amazing. And they have obviously it's a brat house. Yeah. So they have, they have all, all these different, different kinds, kinds of brats. Yeah. They have a great veggie burger that yep. Julie and I will get. They got schnitzel. They carry some real good beers. Yeah, it's a great so place you got, to yep, go. Yep, Richmond, Illinois. Check it out. If you're Check ever it out. in the area. The rapper stops in there. Uh-huh. On his way up to Lake Geneva um, with the big clock. What's his name? Shut up. Swear to God. Flava Flav? Flava Flav <laughs> stops what into the, the Richmond Flava Broad Flav House. I'm going to show Richmond. you the article, and if I'm wrong, Shut I'll take this up. off. He stops there on the way. He's got friends up in Lake Geneva. Flava Flav. And he, yes, I think it was not, uh, I don't think it was last year, but two years ago, he stops in there, and it was all in the local oh news around God. here that he stops in at the Richmond Broad House for a drink or food or whatever, and then goes up to see his friend. I'm going to show you the article. Oh my God, that's so Yeah, great. oh, they're such great people i know yeah, they, i love they, them they treat us good when we're there so yeah they do always, always. yep <laughs> and i signed us up starting july 1st for the podcast awards yeah so very excited for that so we really didn't fall under anything like there wasn't anything they had to do with retail right we're comedy but we're be, we're more than comedy yeah um there was like obviously male uh a podcast, you know, so I went under, um, female podcast yes. hosts. Yes. I did that. Um, that was the best one, which I thought was so perfect. I think, yeah. it will, you know, we probably won't win. There's so many great podcasts out there. We follow quite a few of them on yeah. Instagram, but it's such great exposure. Yeah. So starting July 1st, we'll, uh, we'll post about it and, yeah. and talk about voting and stuff. So have to go out and vote for us. Yeah. Yeah. Very exciting. So, well, this was great. This we're was in, so good. Because we're in 14 countries now, right? We are in 14 countries, yes. Thanks so, for listening, guys. Yeah, it's excellent. It's, it's so excellent. cool. I'm mm-hmm. so glad that you guys in other countries have the same retail issues. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and every week it gets better and better with our analytics, like I our know. numbers. It's so cool. And our podcast host, they just changed over to a 2.0. There's so many more numbers to see. Really? Oh my gosh. It's amazing. There's so many more things that you can look at and, and, you know, dial down and see what's oh, going awesome. on. So that'll really help us. Yeah, so good. Very exciting. Thanks yeah. everyone who yeah. keeps listening and thanks for all the text messages thanks and Snapchat. for supporting and, us. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thanks for listening listening every week we have a lot of fun doing this so we Absolutely. hope you enjoy it and if you want to come on send us a message Ooh, we love guests we love guests yes yes you have to be local got to be local you yeah. got to come see us i mean unless you want to fly in and you know no, i'm not paying for it yet stay the night at a hotel <laughs> <laughs> but that means they have to go out with us the night before so that's all right yeah that's all right <laughs> go do some shopping see if we can start some shit yeah at we a can store. start some we could start some we could find some uh kooji sweaters some Gucci. <laughs> Coogie. Coogie. I think it's Coogie. Coogie sweaters. <laughs> we'll go spend five five hundred dollars on some Coogie sweaters. Maybe we'll find one at the local Goodwill. Yes. That somebody donated 20 years ago. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I'm gonna be looking for if it. If I find one, you're <gasps> getting it. Halloween. We could be different versions <laughs> of Bill Cotts. I don't know if I want to do that. Walk around with pudding all night. <laughs> All right, we're done. All right. (laughs) Now we just got all crazy. All right, bye, guys. Bye.
This podcast is brought to you by Name Tag Productions, LLC. Entire podcast, unless otherwise stated, written by the hosts. Drums, written and performed by my son, Stephen. The Klopin Effect, a retail podcast. If we have to be all in this together, we might as well make it fun. 